Okay, hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I want to look at Fibonacci numbers in the complex plane. This is really interesting. I was quite excited about discovering this tonight because it involves a lot of different parts of maths. We've got some graphing software, some uh, programming software. We're going to use Python com compiler. And then finally, we're going to use another graphing bit of software called Excel, which everybody should be familiar with. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, this is Desmos. It's just an online graphing calculator. Uh, Desmos.com. Uh, the first thing I've done is defined phi. Now I've defined phi as 1 plus root 5 over 2. And that just is the golden ratio. Yeah, the, fa the famous number 1.618. It crops up in nature everywhere. So now I've defined that. I can... Uh, create a second uh, formula called Binet's formula and this just uses phi here and here and uh, what this does it, I use a power n and I'm going to put a slide bar in here so I can change the value of n now at the minute when n is 1 so n is 1 there and n is 1 there and I substitute that in. Remember, phi is just a number, it's just 1.61. Uh, th th this comes out to a value of 1 and that can be seen by, you know, y equals 1, represented by this blue line here. So that's great. Now what this does, what the BNA function does, it tells me that whatever I set n to, that gives me the nth term in the Fibonacci sequence. So I've written the Fibonacci sequence down here. Now I can see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seventh term is 13. So if I change n to 7, you can see me blue lines jump, jumped up to 10, 12, 13. Okay, so that's really good. Uh, and I'll do it for the next one. So the eighth term should be 21. So let's just see that. And there you can see the function jumps up, jumps up to 21. So that's great. There's Binet's formula. I can chuck in a value of n or the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence. And this function will spit out whatever that value is in the Fibonacci sequence. So that's really, really cool. I like it. Now what I was thinking about, though, what if n, if I didn't just use integer values, what if I used rational values or fractional values for the power now as you can see this second part here we've got a negative number this is always going to be negative in there uh, and if i've got a negative number to a fractional power i'm going to end up in the complex domain okay that's going to give me an imaginary number uh, and i can represent that output on the complex plane so when i use so just to summarize when i use integer values of n it's no problem when i start using fractional values of n like n equals a half i add with the square root of a negative number i get an imaginary number and uh, we can see we can model that uh, to get it output onto the complex plane so what i'm going to do i'm going to write a little script in python and I use Python because it allows me to have complex variables. So I've written a little Python script here. Uh, one and two, lines one and two aren't important, but line three, I'm just defining phi again. Okay, this just will spit out 1.618. Because it's an irrational number, I'm going to define it in that way and not just as a digital with a finite number of decimal points. I'm defining two variables. And then I'm going to define a complex number using my variables x and y. Okay, x will be the real part, y will be the imaginary part. Now I'm going to run a loop 500 times, so the n is 500, and I'm going to run i from 0 to 500. And then I'm going to calculate this complex number. This is just using Binet's formula again. And then I'm going to print out the real part of basically 500 complex operations okay i'm gonna i'm gonna use values of n from 0 0.01 all the way up to five 
incrementing in 100s, okay? So that's what that bit does. And then I'm going to print out the real value. So let's run my script. And I can see down here, I've got 500 real values, okay? Now what I, would, what I did before, I copied all them and put them in an Excel spreadsheet. Now the next thing I want to do is output the imaginary values. So I've just, I'm going to print or output the imaginary values of this Python script. And I can see here, I get another load of numbers. Uh, and I'm going to copy and paste them into Excel. So that's a great little program, Python. You can uh, do complex operations and iterate many times, do a lot of iterations. That would take, you know, if you did this by pencil and paper, it would take forever. But you can write a little computer script. It took me two minutes earlier, and uh, I get this lovely output. So let's see what I get. If I go to my spreadsheet, come on, there's, me, there's all my values of n. That hasn't been worked out in Excel, that's just for uh, visual learners, just to give you some visual intuition. My values of n, my real component of the complex number, and my imaginary component. Now this is represented on an Argan diagram here, and this is absolutely wonderful. Now I know on the Fibonacci sequence it starts off with 1, 1, so I could pass through 1 twice. This is the real axis. This is the imaginary axis. So when I'm on the real axis, the imaginary part zero, and that's what I'd expect. Uh, so I get one and one, two, three, and five. Now if I carry this on further, I'd end up at eight. But uh, my graph only, my real axis only goes up to five. But it's amazing. So when when uh, n is is a fraction. You can see I get these complex outputs and I get this beautiful loop. So it loops through one, does a beautiful loop and comes back through one. So it passes one twice, which is what you would expect. But I've also got all these complex outputs as well. Loops back through two, just a purely real part and back into the imaginary zone and then back to three. So it's absolutely fascinating. What a output it's uh, we've output the Fibonacci sequence on the complex plane using both uh, integer and fractional powers it's fantastic I love it and I hope you get an idea how we can use computer programs like Python to, to come up with this stuff absolutely fantastic thanks for watching bye bye